Hey kids, do you know how important your hands are? What are the different things you could do with your hands? Let's read this book and find out. My Hands by Aliki My Hands Peekaboo! Do you ever play finger games? Do you ever count on your fingers? If you do, you know what I know. I have two hands. I have a left hand and a right hand. Each hand has five fingers. Each finger has a name. The names are thumb, index, middle, ring and little. The thumb is the thickest finger. The index finger is the pointer. The middle finger is the longest finger. The ring finger holds the rings. The little finger is the smallest of all. Some people call it the pinky. Each finger has a nail. The nail protects the finger. My fingernails help me pick up little things. I put my hands together the fingers of my right hand touch the same fingers of my left hand. Now I stretch my fingers. Two are different from all the others. My thumbs. They point side to side when the others point up and down. They point up and down when the others point side to side. My thumb can touch any of my other fingers. I use my thumb and fingers to hold and grasp things. Try to hold a pencil without using your thumb. Try to button a button without using your thumb. Try to snap your fingers without using your thumb. It is not easy. We use our thumbs all the time. This is the palm of my hand. I hold things in my palms. I use my palms to make snowballs. I use my palms to pat, to clap and to roll clay. My fingertips are sensitive. They tell me if I touch something hot, cold, smooth, rough or prickly. This is when we did the five senses and the sense, this is the sense of touch. I'm left handed, some people are right handed, some people are ambidextrous. They can use both hands for doing things. You see, she's writing her name with both right and left. That's a gift. My hands are covered with smooth skin. Inside, there are many bones. I can feel my knuckles. If I look hard, I can see pale blue veins. Daddy's hands are different from mine. They are big and rough and bony. Mother's hands are soft. And grandpa's are veined and wrinkled. Baby sister's hands will grow to be as big as mine. So small. My hands will grow too. But I can do many things with my hands right now. I use them to push and to pull to cut and to build. I use my hands to dig or tickle or eat, to scratch or swat or hammer. I use my hands to make music and to play games. Some people talk with their hands. Deaf people use sign language. This thing called sign language is really, really amazing. 
even without using words you can make other people understand what you're talking just by using your hands i use my hands on sunny days on rainy days even on cold days on all days my hands help me have good manners i cover every cough and sneeze and yawn though it's really good to sneeze or cough on your shoulders on the on the clothes you're wearing right some people use their hands to help them shout or to say shh i use mine to say hello and goodbye for work or play people use their hands and you do too see so you're using your hands to brush your teeth you brush your hair you play with balls put your hands on your head see how long you can keep them there without needing them mm no see how else could you have turned the page true right yes we cannot do much without our hands can we if you like this video do hit the like and subscribe button bye